Hello everyone, especially to those young ophthalmologists from Visayas and Mindanao na pariha na ako nga Bisaya Kaayo. So welcome to this episode for the young ophthalmologist. I'm Christine Ziguan Bell, you can call me Tin. And I'm going to talk about your options for provincial practice. Brief background about myself. I'm born and raised in Cebu City and I finished medical school at the Cebu Institute of Medicine and pursued my residency and glaucoma fellowship training at the UP Philippine General Hospital. You know, after you finish your fellowship or residency or after you become a diplomate, it's like a crossroad. You're trying to decide what you want to do. So after my glaucoma fellowship back in 2015, I went, came back home here to Cebu City. I actually talked to one consultant who was a kind of a new consultant also in the province. She actually asked me to list down 10 priorities that I want to fulfill after training. After listing down those 10 things, you'll find out what you really want. So like me, when I started, I, all, I wanted to teach in the medical school where I graduated. I also wanted to teach residents so that I'll be able to hone my skills in surgery. Because, you know, when you start your practice, you probably won't have patients right away. But you always want to practice your surgical skill. And the best way to do that is actually to teach residents. So if you're fortunate enough to be in the province where there's a residency training program, then teaching residents when they do surgeries is a, actually a good option. Another option you could take is to improve um, your research skills. After I finished my Galcoma Fellowship in PGH, I applied for an international clinical research fellowship at the University of California in San Francisco. And it was there that I learned more um, regarding research and was able to write um, and publish research papers and also learn more about clinical glaucoma. So it can also be an option for you after you graduate residency and you just really have to be patient and to really research a lot um, of um, opportunities and training programs for you. The most common option that um, new graduates will take after graduating from residency or fellowship is either going into group practice or starting their own solo practice. So after I graduated my fellowship, I actually had the privilege to be an employee in a group practice and I also had a very good experience in that area. But it was last year that I decided to start my um, own solo practice in a shared clinic here in Cebu. Of course, there are challenges, but it's also very fulfilling. In the next segment, I actually interviewed one of my colleagues from this um, shared clinic. I tell everyone what are the pros and cons and our challenges and um, advantages also of being in this setup. Hi everyone again. So in this vlog, we've actually invited one of my colleagues from UC Medical Center. We set up a private shared clinic last year. He is a former YO and we would like to give him a warm welcome of applause. So Hi, Tane. Our guest is Dr. John Lim. Hi, sir. Hi, Tane. Thank you for inviting me. So, young ophthalmologist pa ko. Yes, e you have to introduce yourself again to the other members of the Young Ophthalmologists. I'm John Lim. I'm practicing in Cebu. Uh, I graduated from the UP College of Medicine, class 2005. Then I went to UP PGH Ophthalmology for my residency in 2008. Then I was chief resident of the department in 2009. Then I proceeded to take up um, Vitreo Retina Fellowship in UPPGH from 2010 to 2011. And I went to the University of British Columbia in Vancouver for Vitreo Retina Fellowship in 2012 to 2013. So I've been in private practice since 2013. So the first five years of which um, I was in a group practice and this is my second year 
as a solo practitioner. So like what Tin mentioned, we are in a solo practice in a shared clinic. It's kind of unique. Um, it's not a group practice. It's, it's a solo practice, but we share clinic space. We set up our clinic last year. It was not so much of a challenge to put up a clinic because the equipment in a clinic space um, are basic. The bigger challenge was to set up the eye services in the hospital. You cannot have uh, an eye clinic and you don't know where to send your patients for eye services. So when we say services, it's diagnostics and therapeutics. So we're really dependent on space where you can do laser, you can do biometry, B-scan, angiogram, and all those things that um, I'm sure young ophthalmologists are familiar with. So we had to talk to the owner of the hospital. They, they asked for our advice, what equipment they needed. So we, we recommended essential equipment. What comes with it um, is actually the, the training of the staff. Since you help the hospital set the OR and the eye center, hindi kasi pwede na pabayaan na lang sila. You need to be objective about it. Una, census. What you can do to help them improve the services. Tapos, feedback. So we had to make it work um, for our practice to thrive. Now, since we've mentioned that we are in a shared clinic, um, we started last year with two clinic spaces, and there, there, were, there are five of us sharing two clinic spaces. Eventually, we expanded um, into three clinic spaces. So the advantage of that is we share the expenses, overhead yeah. expenses, electricity. We only have two staff, even the slit lamp na, na share namin. So that's one of the things you can explore um, shared expenses. Second advantage of that is um, since nakasubspect kami, meron kaming glaucoma, retina, um, cornea and external diseases, refractive, we sort of help build each other's practice. The five of us shared experience kasi na we like practicing our subspecialties and because of that, we know, we know our limits and as a result of that, we build each other's practice. Yung disadvantage, minor lang for me. Since nag-share kayo ng clinic, you have a time limitation. To put a positive spin on it, you don't want to work, uh, ano eh, be careful what you wish for. Kasi you don't want to work five days a week, whole day naman. Nakakapagod din siya. It works for me, naka-oras ka. Um, I don't have a full schedule, pero it's a matter of scheduling. In this kind of setup, I realize na there are other things I can do outside of my practice. <laughs> Nasa guide questions, oh, most fulfilling. Fulfilling experience while setting up the clinic. Ah, okay. Pinaka-fulfilling sa akin yung clinic space na nakuha natin. It's a very good location. So for me, that's fulfilling. And since it's your own clinic, you're renting the space, you get to fix it the way you want it to, yeah. to, to look. How about, let's say, looking back, do you have any uh, regrets or would you have done things differently in any aspect? It's either when you started your practice or in your earlier preparation during residency or fellowship. Ako, I'm a believer of things happen for a reason. Um, una, I'm from Davao. I was supposed to practice in Davao. But opportunities open for me to practice in Cebu. Parang go with the flow. And then initially, I joined a group practice, which was a very good experience naman. And then I shifted to solo practice, which is also a very good shift and a timely shift for me. So, I think wala akong babaguhin dun sa timeline ko. It prepared me for today. Wala lang. If I am allowed to give advice lang, Important yung go with the flow. Ibig sabihin nun, pagpasok mo dun sa area, Cebu is actually um, small, but it has a lot of big hospitals. So, just to give you a perspective, nasa Mandawi City kami in Cebu province. So, pag, when you're fresh graduate, go with the flow, um, pakilala ka, apply ka sa lahat ng hospitals for visiting privileges, and then you tr sort of find what your passion is. Like, for example, ako personally, I'm passionate about retinopathy of prematurity. 
So, yun yung magiging reason ko why I applied for privileges in big hospitals. And then, you sort of create your own network as you go along. Mayroon ka bang parang tips or final advice to the young ophthalmologists who are watching, especially those who just graduated or right now kasi the board, they were not able to take the board exams yet, but for those who's going to start a practice, um, para they Sigo. won't be disheartened or discouraged yeah. in practice, especially during this untimely pandemic. Siguro, first thing, you have to decide if you're going into subspecialty or general ophthalmology. So, major decision kasi yun. Tapos, if you choose general ophthalmology, you have to decide where you will go. Apply sa lahat ng hospitals for visiting privileges. So you have to decide talaga how your practice will become group versus solo, full-time versus part-time. Where do you want to spend most teaching ba, academic, private practice, research? If you've decided na mag-fellowship ka, I suppose you have an idea already where you're, you're going. After your fellowship, you sort of have to decide kasi how you plan your practice. Like, Mag-GGO ka ba on the side or full-time subspecialty ka? So like sa amin kasi, five kami. Um, for myself, I can say siguro 80% of my practice is retina. So 20, 15 to 20% is general ophthalmology. So these are the things na you need to decide. Um, and you can modify naman as you go along. Kasi uh, just have fun and... Siguro advice ko, pinaka-important is don't make the earning your driving force to move forward. Mag-doktor ka naman. So mag-doktor ka and... You provide think, service naman din. Yes. Yeah, yeah mag-doktor ka and then siguro you'll be rewarded naman. Tama. So, um, thank you so much for that very inspiring advice and we really appreciate it. So, I, I hope that the other, the other young ophthalmologists will have an idea on what to do and they won't feel lost because the main reason yeah. of this vlog is really to encourage the YOs and to give them like an idea on what to do after residency or fellowship training. You can always ask your mentors or any of the graduates for advice outside of the vlog. Because the vlog is, we try to make it natural, but it's not really that not natural. natural. So you can ask any of us. Okay. Yeah.